G'day viewers, how the devil are you? Today I'm going to be uh, running some AC appliances off some uh, DC solar panels. No connectors, no inverters, just straight through. Uh, stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. As you can see, I've got uh, four solar panels here. They're actually uh, 250 watt. Uh, for some reason, everything I've seen online, uh, the uh, Americans seem to have some fascination with piddly little 100 watt panels. I don't know why. I have looked, you can get bigger ones. But um, anyway, I've got 250s. They're a kind of smallish standard here now. Um, a lot of what I get, I do a bit of wheeling and dealing in these. A lot of what I get are, are 270s. 350s things like that the uh, output of these panels is uh, about 40 volts 39 point something volts open circuit which means unloaded and they have a, uh, a VMP which is their maximum power output of about 31 volts I've got these four connected up in series, which means one daisy chain to the other, and I'm getting about 131 volts out of them, open circuit at the moment. Now here in Oz, we run uh, real electricity. We run 240 volt as our standard uh, basic voltage. And then if you want some real power, then we run up to um, 440, 420, 480. There's a few different uh, voltages that you can do but something around that which is our three phase so today I've uh, coupled all these up and I'm going to be trying to plug different appliances uh, in directly no converters no inverters and we're going to see what will run and if you can actually run something uh, which is an AC power uh, appliance off DC current which is what uh, solar panels put out so let's see how we go with it now this is going to be a huge pain in the backside for me to uh, to film so please uh, just bear with me I'll try and show you things in the shade so you can see indicator lights and that uh, and you know it doesn't blow out now you can see I've just made a bit of racking and I've put the uh, the four panels there they're all daisy chained together and they end up coming out at uh, these two standard output plugs now what I'm going to do is um, connect in the uh, power board which I've made up a, a DC to standard AC fitting uh, I'll plug the various appliances in and uh, show you whether they work or not Hopefully I get this in shot because I can't even see uh, the back of the camera in the sunlight. First thing I've done is made up this cord uh, which is basically going to connect to the outputs from the solar and give me this uh, funny looking to everybody uh, bar the, uh, the people from the UK and a couple of other places uh, outlook socket. That's our standard one. So. One thing with this I found is the polarity, which means the AC and the DC you connect to, can make a difference to some appliances. A little bit uh, odd uh, because uh, AC goes both ways, but it, uh, it's obviously up to the uh, internal uh, setup of the different appliances as to how they work. Now, a lot of these things are switch mode power supplies, which means that they are basically electronically rectified. Uh, one thing on this, as I said, is we have 240 volt power but I'm only with these panels getting about 131. Now, if you were from the States or somewhere that had 110, well then it would be much easier for you to, um, to, to run less panels and still get full voltage. We'll see how we go with this. I've done some tests and it does tend to work pretty well even at more or less half voltage. So we'll, uh, we'll see how we go. 
Okay, so the first thing I've got is uh, a Canon battery charger. So I've plugged in uh, to the leads, as you saw, and we're going to plug this in and uh, see what happens. Yep, hopefully you can see we've got the little flashing light. And uh, I can tell you that this absolutely does work because when I was setting up for this, I plugged this in and tried it and uh, I had another battery in it as well. And while I was mucking around, I left it plugged in and, oh, there you go, and the battery charged up. You can see it's uh, got the green light now uh, indicating it's fully charged. So that's working and it's working off uh, the 131 volts that's here and that worked just fine. And not only do we have one bloody plane, but we have two in tandem. Just perfect. Okay, uh, let's step it up a bit. Right, what I'm going to do now is uh, connect this uh, power board. Uh, for those of you uh, uh, Americans uh, in Australia, we call this a power board. So we can, um, first of all, I've uh, made up this uh, dangerous looking little device just for, for, for maximum uh, comments and, uh, you know, grief. Uh, so I can just plug this in onto the multimeter. I'll try, yeah, that one does have a stand. And we'll put that in. And there we go, 130 volts. Now, we'll connect in our, uh, our little charger. And hopefully to hell this is all in frame. Uh, it looks like some of it might be at least. So again, that's, um, that's flashing. I'll zoom out a little bit more just to make sure. Probably get all sorts of things in it, knees and whatever. And uh, there we go, that's come up again. Now here's another little uh, 18650 charger. Uh, it's got a couple of lights on it, plug that in. There we go, she's lit up and she's, uh, she's working uh, as advertised. Here's a, uh, a one that uh, people will be interested in because we know uh, a lot of people, you know, would want to take a, uh, you know, a 20 kilowatt diesel generator with them when they go camping so they can charge their phone or laptop. But, you know, if you're, uh, if you're not taking a five ton truck, well, you might like something slightly more portable. So here we go. Here's a, uh, a standard USB type uh, adapter that uh, goes into the mains to give you your five volt. We'll plug that one in bring this little charger back here because B's being 250 are they two yeah they're 250 watt panels you know I've got a kilowatt basically here on on tap uh, probably wouldn't get all that they're, they're never hundred percent efficient probably more like uh, a good 800 watts but uh, let's see okay here's our phone and as you can see yep that's charging up right there oh look at that time code as well so we're in pretty much uh, maximum sunlight maybe uh, being daylight saving here but uh, there you go there's there's a big win for everybody straight off you can charge your phone off this setup again pure DC and uh, straight from the panels there's there's no um, you know extraneous converters or whatever you can probably see that maybe that is coming straight from the panel uh, that wire so there's absolutely you know no converters inverters or anything else uh, being used now I can hear all the safety sissies and the worry warts out there going, oh, but you know, what if it might blow something up? Well, you know, everybody thinks uh, everything's going to erupt in fire and flames, but uh, nobody's ever tried to accomplish it. In any case, uh, in my experience with playing around with this, I found something either works or it doesn't. I've not let the magic smoke out of anything I've tried so far. It, it just works or it doesn't. Some of it is polarity related and uh, I can show you a bit more about that. And, um, but other than that, it either works or it doesn't. It's that simple. 
in what I've done, uh, which is a fair bit. And from other people I've spoken to that have tried this as well, they've found the same thing. Uh, I've not come across anybody that said, yeah, I tried this and it blew it up. Now, if, uh, if you're running, you know, say 10 panels and you've got 400 volts, yeah, I'd expect something's gonna go, you know, fit and the magic smoke's gonna come out. But if you keep it under or up to, uh, there's no problem that I have found. Now, here we go, Here've, here's we've got a, uh, a, a electric tool, a battery tool, uh, charger setup so I'll plug this in mind you this is rated at uh, 220 240 volt so we're running it you know pretty low on it on its curve so we plug it in and what do we get we get nothing but wait there's more let me show you a trick here now if you can see this here's the uh, is the inputs from my panels. What I'm gonna do is reverse the polarity. Now, there's many ways you could do this. Uh, this is my way. Uh, if I can ever get these apart, because they're real um, buggers, these things. What I'm gonna do is get these, um, these whatever you call them, for, for making uh, parallel connections. Uh, you can get them in uh, two, three, four, and I think there might be a five thing with this. So what I'll do is, if you look, this, I believe, is the positive, and I'm gonna connect that with the other one into here. So this, this is positive. But on our lead here, uh, sorry, wrong one, stuff everywhere, this would be the negative. So by connecting this one back to this end instead of this end, I'm actually reversing the polarity. So I'll put that one in there. I'll find my other one, which is here. That one will connect on there. And if I was to connect here, you've basically, you can see, you've got a male and a male on that end. So by connecting this side and not that one, I've now changed the polarity. I've got it the opposite. So I'll connect this on here. Okay, and now let's have a look. And as you can see, our little charge is charging up. So even though they're AC, they can be polarity dependent, which again, I find a bit odd, but uh, it depends, you know, if they've got some sort of diode protection in them. Actually, they can't even have that on AC. I'm not sure. It's the way they're wired, but there you go. Hopefully you can see there's a little red light. The perfect example of uh, what I'm talking about it wouldn't work the other way it does work this way so um, that's something uh, that if you find you do this and it doesn't work before you give up just change your polarity however you want to do it swap your wires or swap your connections and uh, you know change your polarity if you had uh, two of these setups that went to the to um, you know the the outputs for the solar you could w run one on here and run on there and you'd have two so one would be one pole and one would be the other um, I tend to find that uh, most things will run uh, our voltage has come down a little bit there Let's pull this out and see what happens. Huh, went down a bit more, odd. But anyway, um, there you go. It's it's still um, it's still got the power there. So uh, let me show you something else. For this, I have a um, a laptop power supply, which I think is about 19 volt output, and I've got it uh, hooked up to this LED light bar. Uh, this is actually something I use as uh, Christmas lights, believe it or not. You've uh, seen in another video my whopping big tree out the front. So uh, I light it up with a, a load of LED bars at Christmas, put a bit of cellophane across them for colour, and Bob's your uncle. Also very good if you're having a, uh, a party or something, which is almost a forgotten memory in history here in Oz with our lock-ups, but never mind. Um, so... This is uh, got a, a specification of 100 to, what was it, 2, 240 volts on it, and um, 50 to 60 
uh, hertz which is the frequency and it's got an output rating of uh, 18.5 volts at uh, 90 watts so let's plug it in and see if we get any joy with this one and there we go you can see maybe uh, if this isn't glaring too much the uh, the voltage dropped one volt so that shows you that it is actually uh, pulling power we'll just unplug that there Whoop, I bumped it back up to 128 and down to 127 so we're we're definitely pulling some voltage although you know obviously this is uh, very little I can't remember the rating of this light bar uh, but you know uh, a tip uh, any of these Chinese type light bars I've bought quite a few and tested quite a few and none of them are anything more than basic 1 watt or 1.2 1.3 whatever they are watt LEDs when you read about 3 5 and other things forget it if they're a cheap non-brand one they're always just 1 watt now that's not always a bad thing uh, if you get them at the right price but just don't believe you know every advertisement you've told you're told and if you do want one that's very high power test it when you get it because if it's a flea bay type one I will virtually guarantee you that it's not rating um, the, if you want a proper rated one go to the bricks and mortar store or their their website and get one there but anyway enough about that so we've we've got that to run um, why would you want a light running off solar? Well, you know, if uh, if you've been in my shed, if I've put all racks and things up, it's pretty dark, and this is pretty much what I'm thinking of using. So it uh, it can be quite handy. Okay, let's look at something a little bit different. Okay, so we've just run a laptop power supply. Next question would be, uh, can we run the laptop? That's another thing that people want to take, you know, a, uh, a camping generator or one of those solar generators. My God, who gave those things name? They're a battery and a bloody inverter. They go flat and that's the end of it. You've got to recharge them. They're not a generator. But anyway, just another pet peeve of mine. Now this thing's been uh, put away a while, hasn't been used, uh, haven't been anywhere to use it. So it's uh, not turning on as you can see. So let me plug it in. At, um... Oh look, no smoke, no fire, no bangs. Okay, let's see if it will fire up. And uh, I think it did something. Or am I doing it wrong? Ah, there we go. So, yes, hopefully you can see that. Yes, it is firing up. So, uh, yeah, you can run your laptop from this. Now, why you'd want to take, uh, you know, well, depending where you are in the world, you know, two or three or four solar panels with you, uh, don't ask me. But then again, like I say, people take uh, camping generators and things like that. So, you know, it's not really that out of the ordinary. And the point is, if you did have uh, an RV or uh, something like that, then, uh, and you had these, then, you know, they are viable. Same as if you had a little, um, a little shack somewhere for, for holiday, uh, yep, get a few of these uh, panels and you've, you've got uh, a way of running some AC appliances, uh, you know, directly off the panels and you don't need uh, inverters or anything like that. Now, you could also, to a degree, run things like very small kettles and things off these. Um, if you're interested in that, uh, there's a way to do it. It's not quite so straightforward. You can do it with a, uh, a PWM. So uh, with all of this, if you are interested in solar, uh, please make mention of it in the comments. It's something that I have got into quite a bit and have a bit of a knowledge of it, uh, apart from the fact that I have, you know, loads of panels everywhere. So it is something that, you know, I can do if people are interested. 
I noticed my uh, chainsaw review video uh, didn't do very well so you know I'm just going to do this throw it out there explore some different things and see how you go so uh, looks like the the lappy sun oh, no, there it is so it's powered up so yep even if you just use this to charge your laptop it is a viable thing and like I say uh, no smoke fire or anything else it uh, it did work so now we've got our phone uh, our laptop uh, all we need is oxygen and water and uh, people can survive not a problem Right, so here's another one that I've tried and had success with, uh, and this is uh, a pet bed heater, uh, a powered one. Um, I do have these for my cats in winter. They do like to, to stay outside, and I make them a nice little box and, you know, make it all comfy and whack one of these in it, and they're nice and toasty warm. Uh, the other thing I use them for is getting a head start on um, some of my plants, tomatoes, cucumbers, things like that, uh, summer crops that I like to get a, uh, a head start on. I put them in a tub, put them on one of these, keeps the soil warm and they think it's uh, it's turning into summer and I get you know a couple of months head start so I've got um, lots of veggies for Christmas which is a bit of a trick here. So there's an indicator light there which hopefully is uh, in frame not quite let's go around this way you should be able to see it there I'll plug this in and nothing look at that okay so let's uh, quickly just go back and change the polarity uh, as I said it's uh, it's strange some things will work one way uh, and not the other but then you change them around and they're nice and happy. So radio, let's see. Here we go, connecting, bingo. You can see the, the meter drop too. And hopefully you can see that red light there, uh, which shows it's on. Just to turn it off and then on. And of course you can see that meter moving a little bit as well, on, and it drops it. So that's, that's something else that uh, that uh, runs off these. I'm not sure how they work, if they're resistance or they've got some sort of, they might have some sort of PWM in them that's pretty light, or they might work on a half wave cycle being low, high and off. Uh, does low work? Yep, low works, both positions. Might have been interesting to see if low works on the other way, but yep, so that's something that, that works off them as well. Now here's one that I haven't really had success with. Uh, I've got a theory on that I'll test out in a minute. This is an LED floodlight. Uh, I've also tested some indoor down lights which are LED and uh, I've not been able to get them to run off this uh, either way. I've, I've already tested the polarity on both of them. The other one, the down light, is a dimmable and it just doesn't want to know. Now, what I'm wondering is, uh, I'm not really f that familiar with the circuitry, but I'm wondering if it's just too low at the 100, well now we're down to 128, the sun's moving a bit, uh, if the voltage is too low. So what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll throw in some more panels, God knows there's plenty around here, and um, I'll see if, uh, if that helps us any. So uh, here we go folks, all this is uh, running at once, we're charging our cordless tool battery, the uh, laptop is running and uh, the phone is charging, um, all doing it pretty uh, easy. Uh, of course you could look and uh, go back and see that all this worked off the uh, four panels, there's uh, actually six connected now, if I uh, go over and give you a, uh, uh, a motion sickness pan there. Uh, you can see the back of how the panels are set up and uh, this is all running nice. You could probably or I could probably put a uh, yet another uh, panel on this given that you know I can go up to 240 easy. Each one of them is uh, 30 volts so I'd be at 230 which is actually uh, spot on. So 
uh, yeah, it'll drive all this uh, with great ease, and if you uh, did the right setup, you could uh, probably boil a kettle with it as well. Uh, you can do that with a PWM. I've done that many times, and uh, it's a, it's a good way of uh, of doing it, especially if you're not in a hurry. So uh, yeah, that's just to show that uh, multiple things will run uh, very easily. Of course, all these like the uh, the same polarity, whereas is the uh, I think the light that was okay wasn't it there was something that was um, a bit polarity biased but anyway um, oh that's right it was the uh, it was the battery charger but um, you know that's running that way everything else is running the same way so uh, all good okay viewers here's uh, something different it's our safety kit. Yes, we've done them before, but this time it's a real and genuine one. Uh, this power might be solar, but it's nothing to be mucked around with. Uh, you can uh, probably melt metal with this, and in a upcoming video, if you're interested, I might just try. But uh, yeah, there's some uh, that uh, some decent power there, and uh, unlike AC, DC will hold an arc very well. So uh, if you get zapped by this, you're never going to let go. You've got uh, 50 opportunities a second, or 60, depending where you are with AC. But with DC, this stuff just bites, and it just keeps on biting. So, uh, yeah, don't take this stuff lightly. It is actually more dangerous in a lot of ways than uh, mains power. So, yeah, uh, a genuine uh, safety tip. The, uh, the educated probably know this, uh, but for those that don't, well, you know, here you can't say you haven't been told. Uh, that's what this sort of thing is capable of. So uh, actually, be careful because you need to be. I um, don't know about these genuine safety tips, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Could be a bit of a nasty precedent, but there you go. And uh, by the way, uh, don't look at this without welding glasses in real life. I've had people ask me about if they can watch it on the, uh, on the screen. Uh, yes, you can. But um, if you look at this uh, directly without a welding mask when you're doing it, you will burn your eye sockets out just the same as if it was welding. In some cases, uh, this could even be worse. So there you go, people. Don't say you haven't been told and uh, that you know that you weren't given the safety tips Now, if any of you uh, loyal viewers of mine are looking for some used solar panels, uh, I do have a, uh, a few of them around uh, that I am selling. And, uh, of course, you know, there's the obligatory oil drums. I haven't defected all together, guys. Uh, yeah, so I've got a range of them here. If you're in Sydney or somewhere near and you're after some, um, some panels, uh, message me and uh, we can work something out. Don't know if I have shown this before, but this is just a temporary uh, array ground mount that I put up uh, for winter. Uh, I'll take that down now as the uh, winter's over and the solar generation is coming up. And as you can probably see there, I'm trying to uh, landscape this area and uh, do it up a bit. But uh, doing solar isn't complicated. It uh, can be easy as just throwing some panels together like this and hooking up an inverter. Again, uh, please, in the comments, let me know if anybody interested is interested in seeing more on solar. It's something that I've uh, got a bit of uh, wide and varied experience with now. And if there is enough interest in it, uh, I'll be happy to do some videos on it. Now is the right time being our summer, even though if it's uh, mainly the winter for the rest of the world, but uh, you can get good generation and have lots of fun with it. Oh geez, for, the, for those of us that uh, un, are somewhat deranged, not mentioning any names like Turbo or anything, but uh, this stuff can be a whole load of fun. It's, uh, wait uh, till you see when you connect it up to like 10 panels in series. Uh, that way uh, you know you're alive and you may soon not be. You can see though on that meter, maybe if the camera's not blowing it out, how much the, um, the voltage drops. 
that's the thing with panels when they load they uh, they drop down and you can be getting much less power out of them at lower voltages because they fall off their curve so yeah but uh, this this is a uh, a carbon arc gouging rod normally they're used to cut metal uh, they're in a holder the holder blows uh, a jet of air down so when you um, when you strike the arc and melt the metal usually they're done with a lot more amps than this the molten metal is blown away um, yeah so again if you're interested in seeing more on this sort of stuff with solar uh, let me know in the uh, the commentary section I suppose if you did this right, you could uh, make a, uh, a type of light. This is actually what uh, some lights ran on for projectors in theatres and things like that. I believe they uh, they ran like a shield and gas around them, but um, essentially the same thing, a carbon arc light. It is quite bright, and again, you would not want to be looking at this without a, uh, a proper welding mask. It's um, it's it's quite uh, intense and uh, it will give you a lot of welding flash. Ah, oh, the fun of it all. Here you go viewers, I just thought of a uh, another application for this direct solar when you're out camping or something. Uh, it's a fire starter. Uh, rather easy, look at that. Good as those uh, things some people in some countries have which are called matches. I know the Americans don't have them, they only have blow torches uh, which they use to start fires but uh, there you go a little bit of your uh, your tinder and uh, off you go no problem whatsoever see you just just you know good fortune that you tune into this channel and learn all these helpful tips okay so as you may be able to see I've uh, thrown a couple more panels in and we've got a more respectable 196.5 volts off the top of my head I believe our actual standard here in Oz is uh, 220 volts and I believe the low end is about 210 so we're, we're pretty close to standards although uh, a lot of times in a lot of places here the power is anything but standard I get very high voltages here uh, people blame it on solar input but uh, where I live there's not a lot of solar input at midnight and 3 a.m. in the morning so it's uh, it's just the crappy system much as they want to deny it so all I've done is put a couple of uh, panels in there extras so let's see how we go Whoop, and look at that my uh, my theory was spot on it uh, it is just uh, the voltage was a uh, a bit low for that now um, this battery charger wasn't running exactly correctly either the indicator lights are a bit different to normal I'll uh, turn that out might be blowing the camera out a bit um, so let's just try this again and see if it's happier this way uh, no it's not because again uh, this was the one that liked to run on reverse power so I'll uh, I'll come back to that I'll leave the uh, the light plugged in and I'll reverse the power and uh, see what difference that makes to them uh, again it doesn't seem like um, uh, things you know all have a preference as you can see some things will run on uh, on one thing and some like it the other way so it's uh, it's a bit different like that I don't know I did that right then actually but anyway let's connect it up see what happens um, well our lights running again and our charge is not so that was odd I must have connected that back the way I had it right out see nothing made up on uh, on the oil burner channel it's real uh, life mistakes and all 
So, ah, yes. Now, if you notice, the light is still going, so it doesn't care about the polarity. And now the uh, the charge is kicking in, and it's uh, it's running correctly. It's very faint little green flashing light. You may be able to see it, but probably not, especially from that distance. But that is uh, that's charging perfectly. As you can see, the lights uh, on. It doesn't really care which way it's going. So uh, there we go. Now, as I recall, the little uh, camera battery charger was pretty non-fussed as well. So we'll plug that in, and uh, no, it does seem fussed. Huh. I thought I tried that before and it ran either way. Could also be too hot. It's been, yeah, I'd say that's probably more like it. The thing's sitting in the sun, it's 100 degrees now. So uh, let me try, there's another battery in the shade, see if that works or it's the charger. Nope, doesn't want to play. So huh, I thought they were running both ways, but um, clearly not. And hopefully you can see this, it's going to blow out and the sun will be dark in the shade, but sorry about that, it's, uh, it's one of the more tricky ones I've, uh, I've had to film. So yeah, so that's... Um, that's uh, interesting and I'll have a look at that. That makes a little bit of difference to the power and that makes quite a bit of difference. So it's obviously, you know, it is, um, it is pulling a bit of power there. It's doing its start up, now it kicks in for the actual charging. So um, definitely working and it was, um, it was definitely the, the low voltage that was, uh, that was throwing out the um, the, the floodlight coming on so there you go folks uh, that's just some of the things that you uh, you can do with this uh, hopefully you found that uh, not too boring not too hard to watch uh, don't forget to like you should do that as soon as uh, you see me release another one of these videos I'm trying hard to um, to do them more regularly and uh, it looks like we might be coming out of lockup in the next week or so that way I might be able to get some more materials and do some uh, more burner vids I have tried to line a few things up with that but just getting out and getting materials is difficult but uh, hopefully that will be a thing of the past of course we're coming into summer which is a uh, yeah the perfect time to be doing big burner videos but never mind for uh, for all my loyal fans who I really do appreciate and let me say it again um, the kindness and the uh, the goodwill you know so many of you have, have expressed to me is uh, you know I'm not a softy but geez it really does it really does touch you from people that you don't even know but um, you know just got such uh, kind thoughts it, it really means a lot so hopefully you found that uh, enjoyable thank me for watching by uh, clicking the like button uh, leaving some uh, some hopefully intelligent comments uh, although we probably get more laughs out of the silly ones and uh, I'll catch you again soon